Hey everybody, welcome to the next part of our one gauge video series where we discuss a lot of the options, the features, and the benefits of a one gauge digital dash. So today I'm going to start talking about screen options. The first one that I'm going to discuss is the phone and tablet option. So this is an option and a benefit, a feature that's included with every one gauge system. Mounted on the one gauge hub is a Bluetooth communication device that allows the one gauge to communicate wirelessly with any Android phone or tablet or um, stereo receiver that has Android capabilities. So this is, a, this is an option that provides um, a low cost, really easy installation method for you to see all of your gauges. So there's no modification required to your car if you use this, which is really nice. Of course you could mount, um, and it's been done many times before, but you could mount a phone or a tablet into your dash but a lot of times it's very easy just to mount a phone or tablet up on the windshield, um, to mount it in a, in a console. Um, they have phone holders for your air vents, all kinds of different things. So um, installation is very easy for one of these screens and um, it's, it's less expensive than purchasing a separate LCD screen. So uh, setup is very easy. I'm gonna do a separate setup video about how to configure your phone or tablet to communicate once you've received your um, one gauge. But, and I'll link that in the description below, uh, but it's about a five minute process and then you're up and running. Um, like I said, it's less expensive because you can provide your own device, you can use devices that you already have, um, but a typical decent phone or tablet that, um, that I've seen that works well starts at about $100. So um, it's, it's pretty affordable to be able to get an Android device. Um, you can data log using these apps, both Real Dash and Torque. Torque Pro are the two apps that you can use. Um, offer data logging. They offer the ability to completely customize your layout. Um, Real Dash does offer more options for customization. You can go a lot further, but with that comes a lot of additional setup complexity. So typically what I recommend if you're just looking to get up and running is to use Torque Pro and then later down the road if you really want to go all out and design your own dash from scratch, you can switch over to Real Dash. Um, there are of course some downsides to using a phone or tablet as your screen. The biggest one is that um, you have to, every time you start the car, you have to turn the tablet on, you have to start the app. Now there are ways to automate that. There are ways to have your tablet automatically turn on and off when the vehicle is turned on or off. Um, that's a little bit complicated. It's not something that I perform because it basically involves um, changing the programming of your device. So it's definitely possible. Lots of people have done it. Um, and there are other YouTube videos about it, but it's not always the easiest solution. Um, there, you are, of course, limited to different screen sizes and things like that. You have battery life to worry about. Um, so there are some downsides to using a phone or tablet as your screen. Um, like I said before, there are two main apps that these devices use. There's Real Dash and there's Torque Pro. Um, again, Real Dash is a little bit more complicated, a little more difficult to set up, but offers a lot more um, options and the ability to customize. Um, it also offers the ability to use on-screen buttons. So in the overview uh, video, we talked about how to turn one gauge into a PDM, which lets you manage um, all, oh, many of your electronics from the one gauge setup. You would need to use Real Dash if you're gonna use those features on your phone or tablet. Torque Pro doesn't have the ability to send um, that communication. And then um, a lot of people ask me, hey, can I use my, my Apple device, my iPad or my iPhone? Um, the answer is yes, but it's not the best option. So Apple devices, um, because it's more of a closed system, it's not as easy for developers to design software for them. I have to add some extra hardware to the one gauge, which, which adds extra cost. But the main issue is that the communication is much slower. So you're gonna see lag with readings like RPM, with speedometer, things like that. So it's typically not gonna be the best option for you um, for a full dash. It also, because of the added cost, it usually ends up being about the same price just to go buy an Android device and use that instead of trying to use the, the iPhone or the iPad. So that's typically what I would recommend. Um, like I said, for mounting solutions, Really, there's almost an unlimited variety of mounting options to be able to mount your phone or tablet. Now, what is gonna be limited is finding options to mount your phone or tablet where your factory instrument cluster goes. So, if you are looking to build a, a dash that's permanent in the vehicle, if, you wanna, if you're modifying your dash or if you're replacing your instrument cluster, 
I would almost always recommend you go with an LCD screen setup. So that's going to be our next video is to discuss LCD, LCD screen setups, the pros and cons of those and the features and the benefits. Um, and you'll find that video linked below in the description. As always, if you have any questions, if you need some help choosing a screen or just want to understand um, some of the differences, we are happy to answer any of your questions. Feel free to reach out to us. Our email is info at theonegage.com. You can visit us on Facebook and chat with us there as well at facebook.com slash onegage. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.